What's up, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Project, coming to you live. Talk about this upcoming NASCAR slate for the Food City dirt track. So this is a dirt track never really before seen at Bristol. It is raining there, so definitely be careful with this race. We don't know if it's going to happen or not because it is flooding there. But in, if in fact it does race, I'm basically just going to go over my three core plays that I really like and why I like them. But I'll also introduce another kind of under the radar guy that I also like at this race. Before we begin, like usual, hit the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. It's me a ton, as y'all know. And let's dig into this Food City Dirt track. So as I bring up the notes, this is, like I said, a track that's really not happened before at Bristol. This is a new kind of segment. A lot of guys aren't familiar with dirt tracks because it is a dirt track. It will ruin your tires. It will mess up a ton of stuff on your car. So the equipment is definitely kind of weary. Um, but like I said, I'm going to give you all three core plays who I like. The first one will be Chase Briscoe. The reason why I would like Chase Briscoe because he has history here. The history on the dirt tracks is definitely apparent. He's good at dirt tracks overall in the X50 series. The equipment's not bad. I definitely wouldn't mind rostering him at 9900 because I'd much rather get to him than paying up for a guy like Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who the practice number didn't really look so well. So I don't really want to pay up all the way up for Kyle Larson either because he's going to the rear at 12,000. So I'm much rather go at 25th over Chase Briscoe, who I know can easily get you the PD upside also. Moving on to another core play of mine will be not Austin Dillon, but give me Ty Dillon. The reason why I like Ty Dillon is also starting 39th. What can go wrong at 39th? Absolutely nothing. He can easily move up from there. The history there, the history on dirt tracks is definitely there. He's a ton of experience at these tracks. So overall, I don't mind rostering a guy like Ty Dillon for a salary saver at 6,600. That gives you literally 8,375 left over to basically do whatever you want with your roster. So a lot of these guys like a Sam Friesen, I'm not paying for 30 to second. I'm not paying for a guy like Bubba Wallace or Logano. A lot of these high name caliber guys are going to be rostered because they know who they are. But guys aren't going to roster Chase Briscoe or Ty Dillon, plain and simple. They might roster Ty Dillon a lot more at starting at 39th, of course. But like I said, a lot of the, a lot of the normal players are going to try to roster Martin Truex. They're going to try to roster Kurt Busch, Kevin Harvick, Joey Logano, Blaney, guys like that. But this is a dark track. This is not the same Bristol track. So in my mind, I'm getting guys like this who I know have a decent history here. Another guy who has a good practice numbers is Chase Elliott. 26 for Chase Elliott, 8,700. When are you ever going to pay a price like that for Chase Elliott, 8,700? Normally, he's in the 10K range. Sometimes 11K, 10K range, this is where Chase Elliott's at. Now, 8,700, I'm definitely rostering a guy Chase Elliott's running 26, so I know it looks good in practice. And those are my core three plays for today for the Food City Dirt Track. Thank you all for tuning in like usual. Have a good day.